Hello, Zed. Welcome to our show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Thank you. Uh, so, Zed, um, in this AI age, artificial intelligence can influence pretty much every industry. In terms of how companies manage uh, their relation with the customers and sales, how do you think AI will impact? Y yeah, I mean, so uh, the company I started, Cresta, we've been doing this uh, since 2016, 2017, uh, in terms of applying generative AI to the contact center, to sales and support teams. And they're uh, already, this is deployed across uh, enterprise customers. We're seeing it happen live, where you can dramatically enhance the performance of these teams. You can make them more effective at closing revenue, more effective in resolving customer tickets. And so there's really two applications of this. One is you're uplifting the performance of the team through a co-pilot model, where you're enhancing the performance, making them better salespeople, making them better support persons. And then secondly, there's an the automation aspect to this, where there's certain things that uh, the AI can do uh, and can fully automate. But the challenge with the current technology is that there is still a hallucination challenge. So uh, the technology tends to be accurate most of the time, but sometimes it can hallucinate. And so that's why human in the loop model is so critical, where you're not just fully automating to the AI, you have a human in the loop that's validating, checking, and making sure it's all correct. Uh, and so I think that's fundamentally going to be the future for, for a lot of these, this approach. Do you have any advice for the new entrepreneurs in the AI space? And what are the common pitfalls they should avoid? Y yeah, so I think that uh, uh, a, a, a few things, like I think in this generative AI space, I think there's a lot of products to be built um, where you can quickly get product market fit. And I think that's a very exciting time to be building right now. And I think there's a lot of opportunity. And what I would suggest is to evaluate those things, build for customer demand, and then have a point of view in terms of where your defensibility comes from. Because as we're seeing is a lot of these companies uh, sort of are, are, are building and they're getting product market fit and customer demand but then what happens is OpenAI might release a feature, and that feature might sort of then make half the startups in Y Combinator's batch obsolete. And so I think what you want to consider is where are you going to build things uh, that have customer demand, but also what your long-term defensibility is as a business. And I think you have to spend some thought process in terms of your strategy, your data, your data access, your models, your team, all those things you have to consider um, as you build out your business. Thank you very yeah. much, Seth, for talking yeah. to us. Thank you.